Affinity Photo's in-painting brush tool allows you to intelligently replace content in your images. So here's how to use it. First, we need to select the appropriate tool. So we have our retouching tools down here. And if I just left click and hold, it produces a flyout. And I'll just find the in-painting brush tool, then release the mouse button to select it. Okay, so next I'll increase the brush width. And I can do this either on the context toolbar here, or by using the right bracket key on the keyboard. So just notice that the brush width increases up here. Okay, once I've got the correct width, it's then just a case of holding down left click and dragging over the area that we want to replace. Once we've selected it all, we just release the mouse button and Photo will then in-paint and replace that area. But the great thing about working with layers is you can do this type of operation non-destructively. And here's how. If we open up the Layers panel, we can find our way down here and create a new pixel layer using the Add Pixel Layer option. Then, if I just zoom into the area I want to in-paint, on the Context Toolbar, we have this option up here, and we can change this to Current Layer and Below. Now, if I just start painting over the area I want to replace. Because we've now set this option to current layer and below, which is referencing the original pixel layer, the image, when I now in-paint, it will use that information, but it will instead be put onto the new pixel layer here. So if I just hide this, you'll see we've got the original image underneath, but this new pixel layer is just compositing or adding on over the top the new in-painted content. Okay, so there we go, just a quick guide on using in-painting.